Devastating, financially crippling, sometimes even tragic. These words describe the damaging and irreversible effects of fire loss. It happens every year at industrial facilities across the nation. A 10-year study conducted by FM Approvals, part of FM Global, revealed the lack of proper safety practices during hot work applications was the third most common cause of fire loss experienced by its clients. The average cost per incident, $1.4 million. An important but often misunderstood safety practice involves the proper use of fire-resistant pads, blankets, or curtains to isolate hot work from adjacent combustibles. Not all welding coverings provide the same protection. Using substandard materials on the job, like tarps made of plastic or cotton, or untested materials of unknown origin with no certification, can contribute to expensive and irreversible fire loss. In 2002, concerns over hot work safety related fire losses led FM approvals to develop a performance-based standard for hot work fabrics. To do this, a series of rigorous testing procedures was developed and a rating system was implemented based on severity of use. In order to meet this standard, fabrics must pass fire and thermal tests, accelerated weathering tests, and charring embrittlement tests, all engineered to replicate real-world welding situations. What you see is a side-by-side -side comparison of welding blankets undergoing a fire test. One blanket is ANSI FM4950 approved, while the other is not. In this test, known as the paper ignition test, two blankets are positioned in the test chamber over a recess opening of which a sheet of paper is placed. Here, cardboard was used in place of paper to create embers that show better in this demonstration. The results are the same. The blankets are subjected to hot sparks produced by an acetylene torch cutting through a three-quarter inch steel plate. What you see begs the question, which blanket would you rather have protecting your facility from hot work operations? FM approved or some other untested non-compliant blanket of unknown origin? So important was this ongoing issue of welding protection and safety practices that in 2007, ANSI, the American National Standards Institute adopted the FM4950 test procedures to become what is now called ANSI FM4950. Recently, NFPA updated their 51B standard and specifically referenced approved hot work fabrics. The NFPA 51B 2009 edition now states that before a hot work permit can be issued, it is now required that all welding blankets, curtains, and pads be listed or approved for hot work operations. One such listing is ANSI FM 4950. Given what we know today, to use tarps made of cotton or plastic, or any untested material for any hot work application, not only puts the owner and its employees at risk, but it could prove to be a costly and potentially fatal decision. For 30 years, Auburn Manufacturing, the leading manufacturer for welding protection, has committed to raising the bar for hot work protection. They were the first manufacturer to have its facilities and fabrics tested and rated using this new standard. Using advancements in fiber and coating technologies, Auburn has developed 17 ANSI FM4950 approved products designed for safe, reliable protection for all kinds of hot work protection. Auburn Manufacturing has added another level of customer protection to their list of products and services. They now have their own test equipment. With this in place, AMI can conduct evaluations of non-certified products. Insist on using only ANSI FM4950 tested and certified hot work welding curtains, blankets, and pads, and ask for proof of certification from your supplier. It is time to raise the bar on hot work safety. Auburn Manufacturing has a team of extreme temperature experts dedicated to helping you make the right choice the first time. Auburn Manufacturing, the safest name in extreme temperature textiles.